start to the week. I had an incredible weekend. Great week last week. You know, it's uh, wow. I'm doing okay. All right. Well, we'll take it. And, and uh, business and is booming. Business is booming. And it is exciting. It is exciting to be uh, a part where we can, you know, sit and watch uh, companies do amazing things in their business. And so we're just, you know, it, it, it's a blessed, blessed day. Uh, Got to take a look at the market close here. The uh, mixed markets today, but not by much. The down down uh, almost nine points to uh, to close at twenty thousand nine oh five. Nasdaq up half a point to close at fifty nine oh one. We've been hovering around that fifty nine hundred for a long time now. Uh, and then the S and P five hundred uh, closed at just about just under five points short. That closing. Uh, Price is twenty three seventy three. Macy's down three point eight percent. Caterpillar is trading at uh, two and three quarters up. Nike is one and a half up, and four Chipotle both down one, uh, pretty pretty close to one and two thirds of a percent. So that's your market update. Thank you for that. You are welcome. Did you see the uh, the video over the weekend of the, uh, the this massive, huge ginormous chicken coming out of his uh, chicken coop. <laughs> you can see this thing. This, this, so it, it's gone viral. This, this video has, and it is a viral video of European man's massive chicken that has sparked debate whether or not the dog sized bird was a fake. But experts say the giant bird is very real. Uh, the owner. How did it get to be so big? Well, I mean, how old is it? It's, it's, um, so it, it's the brand of chicken. That it is the uh, the gentleman's name I can't pronounce. Uh, posted a video to of the big bird to the Kosovo based the big de- bird decorative. <laughs> yes, the big bird. Except this one says, "You talking to me?" It is a huge, huge chicken. So uh, users question you know Reddit and Twitter users question whether or not the giant uh, quick chicken. Was a different animal dressed up to look like a big chicken, or whether the camera tricker was used to make it larger? Um, but in it's fact, it's like when the they bird... put those little those little costumes on the puppies to make them look like panda bears right, or right. something. Those are so cute. In fact, it is the nature of this bird. It is a. It's called a Brahma chicken. Now you might recognize that recognize the name Brahma for a heap big bull, a Brahma bull. Is one of those. Don't huge, tell me that's how that. No, 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 no. I'm not no. saying. I'm not even suggesting that. Okay. But Brahma chickens are dubbed the king of all poultry. They're bred in the United States for massive chickens imported from China. Female Brahma chickens can grow up to 13 to 14 pounds, while the males can reach up to eight and a quarter, 18 and a quarter pounds. That's the size of a small dog, and a very large chicken. And the video taste like chicken. I hope so. <laughs> It tastes like turkey. Uh, I hope that the uh, the you, you, I'll show you the video in the in the break. But yeah, amazing, amazing, and they've done it again. Uh, a young man decided to stick helium balloons to his lawn chair and take a flight over Calgary, Canada. That man has been fined nearly twenty thousand dollars by an Alberta court. Um, Did he go into the flight zone? Way into the flight oh, zone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hundred helium balloons, and uh, he had. See, he says he had to plead guilty in December to dangerous operation of an aircraft, strapped more than a hundred balloons to his lawn chair, and flew two and a half miles over Cal- Calgary. Two and a half miles up. That's a long way. That's way up there. <laughs> yeah, and well, uh, apparently not afraid of heights. No. I think this is uh, part of that. What, what is the name of that? Uh, the, the dumb people do dumb things contest. America's funniest home videos. It was something like that, but something <laughs> even worse. Anyways, uh, it says um, it was dumb and dangerous as well as unconscionably stupid. There was nothing fantastic, fun, or exhilarating about it. There is no precedent for such foolish an escapade. Actually, there's plenty of press precedent uh, out there. Frazier appealed, uh, approved the plea agreement to have Boria pay $3,750 and to make a $15,000 donation to charity. But yeah, he, uh, he, got, he got way up there. 
That's crazy. That is kind of crazy. That would freak me out. That's kind of crazy. So I uh, went to visit some friends who bought a new home. Uh, recently, they actually moved in, in in late November, early December. And it's one of those new urban homes where it's this tall, skinny. So so you come in at the bottom level where there's a laundry room. You go up to the main level where there's a kitchen in your family room. And then you go up another flight of stairs. Oh, so it's the, like uh, like a, a European, almost English, British flat. And then yeah, there's like a, roof, a rooftop yeah. deck. Okay. And they have the most amazing view off of this rooftop deck from Pikes Peak to Longs Peak. Wow. And All will right. never be uh, obstructed, it doesn't look like. So it's just an incredible. But we're up on the rooftop deck, 53 stairs to get from the bottom to the top. I'm thinking she's going to have the most amazing legs uh, <laughs> after living there for a couple of months. But I lost my sunglasses. I was laughing, and they were sitting on the top of my, my ball cap. Yeah. And I tilted my head back, and my sunglasses fell off from this rooftop balcony down you know, four stories wow. down to down to the rocks down below. And it looked like they broke in half. And a lady was walking by and I said, do you see my sunglasses? And she says, yeah. I said, are they broken? She says, yeah. Oh, oh darn sorry. it. So go down there and I collect them. Just one of the lens had popped off. Oh, that was it. Popped it right back in. They're not scratched up. Wow. They're in, in, in incredible so, condition. Uh, the technical term for what you're looking for is guffaw. Guffaw? Yes, you had a guffaw. Mm, I don't think so. That's where you kick your head back and go. <laughs> yes, it was one of those. It was, it was one of those. Yeah. Eric, did you know that <laughs> the human head eight, weighs eight pounds? Norway has just been deemed the world's happiest country. Norway, for, according to the 2017 Norway world. Norway is happier than you in this studio. World happiness. I, they didn't ask me. The World Happiness Report. There is such a thing, oh. and they do one every year. Um, and the Central African Republic was the least happy of the 155 the Central countries. What? Central African, African Republic. Republic. Yeah, that makes sense. And, yeah, out of the 155 countries, it's Norway hard. is the world's happiest country. And it's based on seven uh, you know, questions and socioeconomics and humanity and all of that. And so is in and out burger one of the criteria? Uh, I do not think no? so. Cause that would United make... States. We ranked 14th. Oh, so that's not too shabby out of 155. If we're up Colorado there. had an in and out burger itself. Colorado would be the, the most happy country. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. All right. Let me, uh, let me, let me wrap this up here. Uh, there is a Wisconsin group that's suing uh, over the, uh, Butter Law, banning a particular brand. A Wisconsin group filed a lawsuit on Friday in the notoriously dairy-crazed state to overturn a law banning the sale of Kerrygold Irish Butter and other brands that haven't been subjected to rigorous rating system. The suit filed on behalf of several residents in the conservative group uh, by the conservative group, the Wisconsin Institute of Law and Liberty, challenges the 1954 state law that bars the sale of any butter that has been has not been tested and graded by official state butter tasters. Let let's park the car for a minute. Okay, there are butter tasters. <laughs> you you wish you were no. one. Yes. No, that grosses me out. Really? Oh yeah, it's 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 lard. It's it's. No, it's not lard. <laughs> it's butter. that. It's butter. Do you know where that comes from? Well, do you not drink milk? Do you not eat cheese? You don't do anything dairy? No, I love all those things. Where do you think all that comes from? Right there. See, I'm 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 getting the the butter right now. You're not you don't you do butter. You can't see because it's below the the, the camera. But you I'm, don't do butter. I do butter, but yeah. I don't taste butter. I don't taste butter. I don't, I don't. You know, get a spoon and dip it into my butter and go. Mm. Approved. I don't, I don't do that. Huh? All right, so uh, yeah, they're uh, they're so. I you figured you would do. I I, I think I figured. I you add would. butter to things. Yeah, yeah. But I don't taste butter just for the tasting of the butter. Blech. Well, on that lovely note, happy Monday to Dennis. We are the Experience Pros on the Experience Pros Radio Network, and we will be back right after these messages. Stay tuned. 
while you're at it, check out experiencepros.com and sign up for our 30 day free trial membership. We'd love that. Back after these messages. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Life, it's yours to own. When you're considering the purchase or refinance of a home, you want to know that the people helping you are looking out for your best interests, not just the best interest rates. Cheryl Braunschweiger and her team at Nova Home Loans are trusted members of the Experience Pros Network. And yes, they're ready to help you today. Call today, 720-279-5939. That's 720-279-5939. And let Nova Home Loans take care of everything. Think life. It's yours to own. Nova Home Loans can help. NMLS ID 3087. You've probably thought about taking a trip to Israel many times, but something always got in the way. Make 2017, the year you make your dream of visiting the Holy Land, a reality. Experience Israel for over nine exciting days. Tour Israel like a local, experiencing the wonder of the Bible coming to life before your eyes. For full cost and trip details and to register, visit experienceisraeltour.com. That's experienceisraeltour.com. Hi, this is Orin, owner of Absolutely Cabinets. Since 1989, I've sold Aristocrats cabinets for kitchens and baths, and they have proven year in and year out to be a great dollar value. With Aristocrats, you can buy the level of cabinetry you feel comfortable with in regard to construction. If you want all the features without making a decision, I sell Decora, which is a semi-custom line of cabinets with solid wood fronts, dovetail drawers, full extension glides, with soft clothes automatically on the drawers and doors. From basic up, I can put you into cabinetry that will fit all your wants and needs. Thanks to all my repeat and referral customers over the years. Go visit Orin's showroom at 5940 West 38th Avenue near the corner of Harlan and 38th Avenue. Or give him a call at 303-425-5592. That's 303-425-5592. Or visit AbsolutelyCabinets.com. New store hours are 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday and 8 to noon on Fridays. Hearing aid users are younger and more active than ever before. And the reason may surprise you. Today's hearing aids have become so advanced, they're almost effortless. How effortless? You only change the batteries once a year, not every week. And you never open the battery compartment, even at night. How effortless? You can adjust how loudly and how much background noise you want to hear, right from your phone. And the clarity. Independent studies show that our hearing aids help you to hear better in background noise than people with perfect hearing automatically. I'm Dr. Barbara Jenkins from Advanced Audiology. For more information about these and other advancements that improve clarity and ease of use, go to advancedaudiology.com or call 303-649-2122. If you have a hearing loss, you know how important these features can be. That's 303-649-2122. At Advanced Audiology, we take your hearing seriously. Are you thinking about updating that outdated kitchen or bathroom? Well, now is the best time to get started. I'm Ted Spear, co-owner of All About Cabinets and Countertops at 35th and Wadsworth. We can help transform your kitchen or bathroom into a stylish and functional room for less than you ever thought possible. Right now, we'll save you big money on your new cabinets and countertops, even over those big box stores. We provide our customers with the unique mix of superior quality and top-of-the-line and customer service, all at affordable prices. And now, through April 15th, take advantage of our additional savings and upgrades on all your cabinet and countertop purchases. We are offering up to $1,500 in additional savings off our already low prices. Don't wait. You can visit our showroom or call us today at 303-456-6400. That's 303-456-6400. Or visit our website at allaboutgreatdeals.com. That's allaboutgreatdeals.com. Make a difference without the expense with all about cabinets and countertops. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you for taking time out of your day to join us for ours. Our next guest, special friend of ours, Coach Brew Baker, Coach Brew. speaker, author, and executive. 
coach, also the author of the upcoming book. It's getting ready to come out. We've been so excited waiting for the stadium status book mm-hmm. to come out. And it comes out April 4th. You can pre-order yours at Stadium statusbook.com I always know whenever I go on a trip if it's been a long time since I've packed because I pack way too heavy if it's been a while I forget how light I really need to pack Uh, coaches today coach Bruce is going to talk about packing light today and we'll see where he uh, takes us with that coach brew welcome to the experience pros radio show James and Eric, great to be here with you. Hey, fantastic to have you on the program, John. What, what is uh, where, where have you been? You, you've been out and about. Uh, yeah, just got back from a trip visiting a mutual friend, the great Clint Hurdle, former manager of the Colorado Rockies, Love current that. manager of the Pittsburgh Pirates, who are doing very, very well, by the way. Yes, mm-hmm. thanks to him. Did yes, he remember indeed. us? And <laughs> he did. He <laughs> loves you guys. He remembers he everybody. And let he me does. give you a quick example of how he remembers everybody. I was commenting to him about the driver that picked me up at the airport and brought me to uh, their spring training facility. He's like, yep, Dave's great. He wears a Jolly Roger on his heart, loves the team. Wow. And I all I did was describe the guy, and he knew exactly who he was. So think about that. You're the leader who knows everything there is to possibly know about everyone in the organization, right down to the, the driver who just transports guests to and from the facility. That's impressive. That is very. remember the two of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and there's no mistaking that. Uh, for, for those listeners, uh, you know, Clint, uh, when, before Experience Pros was a big thing, I used to work at Starbucks, and I uh, served he and his family uh, all four of them and, uh, and, and his, his two young children. He's got other children as well, but uh, uh, his two young children, just adorable, did magic tricks for them and so on. And of course, Angel and I worked for his campaign, fundraising campaign for years. So Yeah, for the Prater Willis syndrome mm-hmm. and that his daughter Maddie has. So lots of, lots of great connections. But so you've been out, you've been traveling. Did, did you pack light? Yep. I packed light and... Uh, yeah, Pack Light, Love Heavy was actually the title of my speech that I gave. Uh, this is my second year working with the Pirates and Clint's coaching staff. So just got back from talking with them, and he wanted me to speak to them this year on ownership. Mm. And I just think there's so many parallels for, for all of us, your listeners and ourselves included, when it comes to team ownership. All right, so how do we apply team ownership? I mean, it's one thing to be uh, uh, an MLB uh, manager and understand what team ownership is about, but how do we apply that to a small business community? So let's talk about what Angel mentioned first, packing light real quick. Here's the real interesting thing, Eric. Uh, A year ago, when I went down there to speak to the coaching staff, uh, at the time I was leaving for the trip, we were buying a house and selling a house. Yeah. Same day, closing on one and purchase on the other. Wow. Is that so, is that a good thing? Can, I mean, sometimes I think, okay, that's that's like the dream, right? You know, no lapse over. But then when I think about having everything happen on the same day, is, is that a good thing? Should we celebrate that? But it's a great thing not to carry two mortgages two months you know, at a time. Right. But the stressful part is when your husband goes out of town, gives you power of attorney, and you have to do all all of that mm-hmm. yourself. And you left that to your wife? Yeah. I left that to my wife. Her only advice to me was Don't come back. Pack two weeks of clothes. Yeah. And I said, You're kicking me out. She's like, No, I know you're only gone for like two days, but by the time you get back, everything won't be unpacked. We're gonna be living out of suitcase for a while. Right, right. So here's the here's the interesting thing when it comes to ownership. I packed two weeks worth of clothes. I only took two days worth of clothes. When I got back Those two weeks worth of clothes became two months. I never bothered unpacking all my other stuff. Wow. Because if I didn't need something for two months, I just got to thinking, do I really need it? Uh, You you just became Angel's wildest dream. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's the minimizing, right? You know, the fact that what we have too much stuff, it clutters and I've been reading so much a coach brew about we need less stuff. We don't need better places to put it. 
that that all of that just it it takes up too much time, too much energy. And the fact that you could experience that, you were forced to, but then realize I really can live without all this stuff. Tell me, tell me, is it everything you dreamed it would be? I'm still back on the fact that Eric Reamer said John Brubaker was a woman's wildest dream. <laughs> You're like, welcome. I, You're welcome. My wife doesn't my wife doesn't even say that. I'll be Eric, here. You just became my favorite person. I'll be here all day, but I know that we've got ninety minutes left with you. So how do we ninety take, seconds? Uh, ninety seconds, <laughs> sorry, not ninety minutes. Uh, how do we take advantage of ownership for, for small business? Well, less is more. And you know, yeah. you got millennials who are a generation of renters. You know, they rent vehicles, everything they, they have is in the cloud or on their device. And what they're craving is emotional ownership. They value experiences over things. So if you can make your workplace, your customer experience, a great experience, mm-hmm. they will have emotional ownership Amen. like no other. Everyone looks at millennials as a liability. They're an asset if you can get them to emotionally own what you're, quote, selling. And that's what the pirates have to do with their young players, get them to emotionally buy in and you got them hooked. And it goes for everyone's business. I think that is so inspiring and so motivational. Coach Brew, thank you so much for bringing that today. I want to let our listeners know where they can pre-order. Give us some information about this, the, the book stadium status. Sure. You pre-order at stadiumstatusbook.com, And you know, you're not just pre-ordering a book. You, when you do that, you're entered to win, uh, possibly win a three-day, two-night stay at a five-star resort in Destin, Florida, giving away a vacation to one lucky winner. Wow. Dude, I, I say, how do we sign up again? That's your wildest dream, isn't it? <laughs> you know, yes, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be far. Stadiumstatusbook.com, right there. Right there, stadiumstatusbook.com. Pack light, love heavy. We do. We have way too much stuff, and it's bogging us down and take that take that emotional baggage or i guess not emotional baggage i got plenty of that too. take the baggage to florida (laughs) and uh, and unpack it there if you want all right john we love you man thank you so much for joining us today we appreciate you folks go sign up for your book stadiumstatusbook.com john brubaker coach brew to you and me appreciate you brother you're the best. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. You know, I love it because uh, when he was out there, uh, gave him a little shout out and said, hey, tell Clint we said hi. And uh, and you know that he followed through. And now we have evidence thereof. So good, good stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, folks, don't go anywhere. We've got more positive business talk. Great guests coming on. Don't go anywhere. It just got interesting. Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on 
on Denver's Money Talk 1690 and MoneyTalk1690.com. Billsgang.com. What are people saying? Hi, this is uh, Ron from Washington State, and I subscribe to the uh, Bill's Gang MV2, and I just wanted to let Bill know that uh, right after the election, I made a $7,000 profit using the MV2 on uh, Wells Fargo stock. Complete guidance and professional education for investors who want to succeed in the stock market. I've been in the financial business myself about 24 years, and uh, very much enjoy the software program for the charts. I've been a long time uh, Bill's subscriber and I just want to recommend it uh, to anybody out there. I think it's a wonderful tool and works very, very well. Don't wait. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Weekdays at 1 on KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Tune in to Money Talk, KDMT, 1690, every Saturday at noon for the best advice on building that nest egg. You'll hear expert advice on feathering your nest, caching resources for the future, and going for the gold finches with a show that can put a little more green in your day-to-day living. While they may not be Wall Street wizards. They are the wizards of wildlife. And if you'd like to add these beautiful colors and melodious songs of wild birds to your portfolio, listen to Bird Talk, Saturdays at noon on 1690 KDMT, presented by Wild Birds Unlimited. David and Scott Neno will enrich your life with tips on attracting birds, butterflies, bats, bees, and other things that don't start with the letter B. The Bird Brothers will bring you fascinating interviews, nature news, insights on building the best wild bird habitat and we hope to bring you a smile and a chuckle or two as well. So listen to Bird Talk every Saturday at noon right here on Money Talk 1690 KDMT. For centuries, it's been called a land of promise. Today, it's a land of blessing. Come and experience for yourself the only place God called my land. Experience Israel and celebrate Jerusalem's 50th anniversary. A once-in-a-lifetime trip awaits. Tour Israel like never before during nine exciting days. You'll visit Galilee, the Jordan Valley, the Garden Tomb, and many other historic sites. Embolden your faith as you trace back the very steps of Jesus and experience firsthand the beauty of Mediterranean landscapes, culinary delights, and return home with a renewed vision for your life. A dedicated team of passionate and knowledgeable professionals will lead the tour. Four- and five-star travel accommodations will give you comfort and safety for the duration of the trip. For full cost and trip details, visit experienceisraeltour.com. That's experienceisraeltour.com. I can't say that. But we can. Sometimes you just can't write the words you want to say or find the right words to express your feelings. But we can. We are the right words. The people who help turn your thoughts into words so you can speak your mind. Too shy to ask that special person out? Try us. We're good at that. Love, hate, revenge, laughter. We're the right words, bringing you the words that make saying the hardest things easier. Learn more at therightwords250.com. W-R-I-T-E, therightwords250.com. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service by using the hashtag FanBrag or calling the Fan Bragging Hotline at 855 FanBrag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Bros Radio Show. Angel Tassi, Eric Grammer, helping you get your business right. And the way that we do that is introduce you to some pretty smart people. Absolutely. We're here to make sure your business is growing and you're actually living the life you are meant to live and by your design. But what's going on with your own retirement nest egg? Are advisors putting their interests ahead of their clients? Our next guest says when it comes to your money and how you should save for retirement, it is critical to find a financial advisor who cares about your money as much as you do. Anthony Sicaro, he's a chartered financial consultant and president of a Providence Financial. He coaches his clients to help them invest their hard-earned money in a responsible way. Anthony Sicaro, welcome to the Experienced Pros Radio Show. 
Well, hi, Angel. Hi, Eric. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. You know, it is fantastic to have you. And Anthony, uh, last time we had you, we, uh, we we started talking a little bit about, you know, what should we expect with President Trump and him coming into uh, into office. Now he's in office, and uh, I'm wondering what's going on with Trump's fight over retirement savings, and what does that mean for my nest egg? Yeah, great question. It's not so much Trump's fight, really. It was more Obama's fight that he started back in uh, April of 2016. So this has been a year in the making. And essentially what they're doing is they, they've, they've changed the entire IRA industry or retirement nest egg industry to require that financial advisors act in your best interest. And and you might look at that and say, oh, my gosh, that's a horrible thing. Well, of course it's not a horrible thing. That's that's what everybody wants. But the reality is, is the way that they're going about implementing this rule, the way that they're going about turning the industry upside down on its head is, is absolutely wrong. They're requiring banks and insurance companies and broker dealers and registered investment advisory firms, they're requiring them to do something that is actually impossible for them to do. And that is to make sure that their agents are acting in the best interest of every client. Otherwise, you can sue the firm. And and there's no firm in the world that can absolutely guarantee for every single agent that they employ, for every single transaction that that agent does or client that they interact with, that that is going to be in the best interest of the client. It's It's an impossible task, but that's what's being required. Okay. So when we think about why this came about... And I mean, on the surface, acting in the best interest of the clients, it's my money. Hopefully we get somebody who's acting in the best interest that of my clients. Good. It does sound good. Yeah. Um, so where's where's the breakdown and why isn't this good? Yeah, so what's happened is in the past, there's been a suitability standard for most of your standard agents that are out there. If you're an agent that's been working for a big firm, uh, one of the big Wall Street firms that sell stocks and mutual funds, and and you're under a suitability standard. And that means that if you, Angel or Eric, call the firm and say, hey, I've got a certain amount of money and I want to know what to do with it, well, that they, based on some questions, they can offer you some mutual funds or some of their investments and guide you down a certain direction. Well, the problem is now that can't happen. Because if you're going to call in and you just want to get some ideas as far as where to put your money, the agent on the other end now has to know every single thing there is to know about you before they can make any kind of recommendation at all. Mm. And so they can't just say, hey, I want to get this mutual fund. or I think you should have this mutual fund or this particular stock or, or these dividend paying. Invest-. They can't do that anymore because that has to be in your best interest. And, and how do they know? How is anyone supposed to know what's in your best interest if you're calling an 800 number and talking to the person on the other end? Yeah, sure. That makes sense. So, so Anthony, then uh, I, as a client, um, do I have the ability through a, a power of attorney or something uh, similar to waive the legislation that is uh, working its way? Well, it's not so much a waiver. You, you don't have the ability to waive it as a client, but what there's going to be is there's going to be something called a BICE agreement or a BIC agreement, depending on who you, con- on, on who you talk to, and that's called the Best Interest Contract Exemption. And what that means is that each individual advisor, when they're dealing with you with an IRA or 401k or retirement plan, are going to have to have an agreement with you that they will act in your best interest. And then that agreement has to be signed by one of four entities. It has to be signed by either a bank or broker dealer or registered investment advisor or, uh, or an insurance company. And so if you are uh, making a recommendation to a client to roll their 401k over into an IRA, you have to have the company that you're representing sign an agreement saying you're acting in the best interest of that client. And some of these insurance companies out there that sell annuities and so on, they, have, they, have, they might have hundreds of thousands of agents. How do they guarantee that every single transaction is in the best interest of the client? They, they can't do it. So, so, yeah, so if they can't, or how do they, where, where do we meet in the middle? Well, that's part of the issue. I think that it should be more on the agent's shoulders. I've been fighting for a rule like this for for years. I think the industry hasn't been transparent enough, and I think there are some things that need to change. I think that that uh, individuals should know how much an advisor is making. I think individuals with retirement plans should know how much the fees are in their retirement plans. None of that's transparent at this mm-hmm. point. I think there's a lot of changes, but I think in making the changes – 
what the Obama administration did is they went to the far side and they swung so far that they made it impossible to comply with. The question I have is, is why can you just not put a fiduciary responsibility on everyone so that if later down the road the client feels like they've been harmed, they can sue you and now it's, it's under a different standard. Why require that these large organizations uh, absolutely confirm that each of their independent outside salespeople, for lack of a better word, is acting in the client's best interest? They can't do that, but that's what's being required. Why require it? Why not just hold the individuals to a responsible level? I think that solves the problem. Our guest is Anthony Sicaro. He is the founder and president of Providence Financial and Insurance Services. Anthony, um, isn't that what President Trump is currently trying to navigate is the and, and catching flack for? Because the words are uh, he's taking away what's in the best interest of the client, and yet isn't he trying to navigate exactly what you're talking about? Well, that's right. And so there's several several delays that are proposed. Um, right now, the way that the rule is scheduled to go in force, it starts on April 10th, and there's a phase-in period that goes through the rest of 2017 so that there, there's a way for them to, for, for advisors to kind of work its way in. There's a 60-day proposal that's out there that the Department of Labor has proposed. Uh, Trump proposed a six-month proposal right now, just like old-fashioned or, or typical government. You know, nothing's going to happen until the last hour. We're already in the last hour until yeah. April 10th, and, and we don't know if it's going to be delayed or not. So, so the entire industry is up in, it, up in arms. And again, Trump is not saying we shouldn't be acting in the client's best interest. And no one is saying that. Yeah, that, that needs but to be made clear. The, that's right. No one is saying that we shouldn't be acting in the client's best interest. But it's how we go about doing that. That's the argument. And again, if a, if, if a financial institution has hundreds of thousands of agents, each agent having their own conversations day by day with, with clients, making recommendations, talking with with individuals about what they should do with their money. We're talking fully licensed agents, guys that aren't sure. How is the, the company sh- supposed to know and be able to guarantee in writing that every single co- uh, conversation and, and recommendation is absolutely 100% in the client's oh. best interest with no second? In, in my best interest means I'm making money. And if I'm losing money, it's clearly not in my best <laughs> interest. I have a case the minute the market dips. Well, in some regards, I think that's correct, but it's it's really what did I do to assist you with that? I mean, yeah. you know, and if you don't know, you should you probably should know, and I should educate you that if you're going to invest in stocks or mutual funds, there's absolutely no ironclad guarantee. No. But unfortunately, I think when when individuals go into mutual funds, they they are somewhat I don't know if I want to say misled, but they may not understand the dangers. And I think it is up to the advisor to explain that. But that's imputed to the larger firm. And I think that's where the impossibility comes into play. That's where I have a problem. Mm -hmm. Well, Anthony, I know this is a a conversation that can go on and on. And I'd love for you to give your contact information for our listeners to follow up with you. Yeah, absolutely. So the best way is probably to look us up on our website. The website's ProvidenceFinancialInc.com. Uh, ProvidenceFinancialInc.com, and you can find our contact information there. And just for the record, keep in mind, it doesn't affect me at all. I own the firm. I'm already a fiduciary, so it doesn't affect me. I think it's just wrong and and harmful for the younger investors and smaller investors that it is going to affect. Yeah, Yeah, well said. And uh, your, your case is presented with grace as always. We appreciate you for coming on the show, my friend. Well, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Angel, for having me. I can't wait to be here again next time. Fabulous. Fabulous. Thank you so much. You know, we do. You've got to pay attention. You can't just, you know, go to an 800 number and sign up and and think that anything there is going to be uh, done in your best. And one cannot wave the magic wand and say the element of risk is always uh, negated, even though the words are in your best interest. All right, we will be back right after these messages. You're listening to Angel Tassi, Eric Raymer. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. We invite you to try us out for 30 days, risk-free, in fact, money-free, no credit card required. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Imagine what you do with an extra thousand or two in your account every single month. Attend a free class to learn what the Wall Street boys hope you'll never find out. 
If you call now, the Online Trading Academy will comp the class and even send you home with a free $247 home study course. And then you could start making your dreams a reality. Call 866-816-1918. 866-816-1918. Call 866-816-1918. That's 866-816-1918. In America, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Benjamin Franklin and other founding fathers handed us a Republican challenged us to keep it. The challenge remains today, more than 240 years later. The AmeriChicks invite you to call in every weekday afternoon at 5 p.m. to sort through the smoke and mirrors to discuss government policies as right versus wrong rather than right versus left. Denver's only female-hosted call-in talk show on your drive home. The AmeriChicks, Kim Monson and Molly Vogt, sponsored by Yanni's in the Landmark for the best lamb chops in town. Weekday afternoons at 5 on KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Are you concerned about outliving your money? How would you like to have guaranteed growth and a life time of income you could never outlive. Join Brett Roby for the Retirement and Income Radio Show on Saturdays at 7 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. You can also call Brett Roby now for your free customized safe information money kit and 115-page safe money book at 866-780-7233. 866-780-SAFE. Are you embarrassed by your smile? Are you unable to eat the foods you love, afraid to laugh, afraid to live a normal life, even afraid to go out in public? Dr. Barrett's with Barrett's Dental here. I believe that you deserve a smile that you can be proud of so you can live your life the way you want, with the peace of mind that you can smile without embarrassment and that your mouth is healthy. At Barrett's Dental, we want to help you get your life back. I invite you to my office for a free computation where you can find out for yourself if you are comfortable at Barrett's Dental. We offer total dental solutions meaning we can handle all of your dental care in one convenient location without referring you all over town. If you feel safe at Barrett's Dental, it's the last place you'll need to visit to get the care you need. Is the condition of your mouth causing you to live a life of quiet desperation? Call me. I'll take great care of you. If you're looking for a safe place to take care of all your dental needs, call Barrett's Dental at 303-502-5527 or visit denverdentist.com. Hi, this is Andrew Stone. After I was injured in a rear-end collision in Boulder, I called attorney Jeremy Cave for help. I can honestly say Jeremy worked day and night to get me what I was entitled to. Unlike a lot of attorneys today, Jeremy puts the personal in personal injury. He relieved me of stress and was there for me every step of the way. Cave Law understands that many of you who listen to this station prefer to have a lawyer who sees things from your point of view. I found it with Cave Law. I think it's time to put the personal back into handling personal injury. Call Jeremy Cave today at 720 720- 213-3737. Jeremy Cave only gets paid when you do. Call Cave Law now for a free at-home consultation. 720-213-3737. If you're injured in an accident, call 720-213-3737 or check out his brand new website, cavelawyer.com. That's cavelawyer.com. Personal and caring service from Cave Law. Call Jeremy today. 720-213-3737. Hey there, Dan Cicchini, owner of Dunright Kitchens and Baths, Windows and Doors. There's absolutely no reason why right now can't be your time to get started on that beautiful new kitchen or that awesome bath you've always wanted. Right, Todd? Of course, Dad. With our unique cabinet resurfacing, they'll get that beautiful new kitchen. And without the mess and expense of replacement. And in a shorter time, too. Boy, you've got that right, Todd. But if an all-new kitchen is on their wish list, we'll build it from the bottom up, first rate all the way. And let's not forget that very special room, the bath. What about that? Well, hey, turning leaky, moldy, smelly baths into awesome rooms, that's what we do. Whether it's a tub-to-shower conversion or a whole new five-piece bath, our family business will make it special, just like we've done for decades. Okay, Todd. So, folks, give us a call and see what our family can do for your family. Kitchens, baths, counters, and floors, and even replacement windows and doors, you have our word, we'll treat you right at done right. 303-722-2295, 800 or donutkitchens.com. Finally, you can experience comfort in every room in your home, plus save money on energy costs every day. Discover how Pasture Camp can help with a new energy-efficient heating and air conditioning system. The Pasture Camp family has provided comfort and a customer satisfaction guarantee for over 50 years. They offer payment plans as low as $89 per month with approved credit. Discover Pasture Camp and experience comfort. Call 303-777-1234 or visit PastureCamp.com.
Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Are you feeling motivated? Are you having a great start to your week? We sure hope so. Hope it's delicious and juicy. Uh, we're gonna. This is so juicy. I know these are. I don't know where I picked up these words. You were I don't know. About your car last week with those those same words. It was just you know it's. Uh, here's probably an element of what it is. You know, I know daylight savings nobody's favorite. You know, turning the clock forward, turning the clock back, losing our sleep, this whole thing. Come getting off work when the sun is still high in the sky. It's both delicious and juicy. Oh, oh my gosh, Angel's favorite. I am just <laughs> I am driven by the sun. I am solar you know That's powered. Okay. That's, that's and, all good. And last week, uh, the weather was just beautiful here in Colorado. Yes. And so brought out the convertible and I got to take it, you know, and I was driving it to work. And of course, and I, you know, we have two options to get to the studio. One the freeway, which is, is the congested lower, yeah. build mm-hmm. freeway. Yeah. Or I can go across the Cherry Creek Dam Road, yes. which is on top of the world. And you've got this beautiful view and Almost the sun is shining. Almost always faster than the freeway. And, and it does, it, it, yeah. the, the speed limit is 35 miles an hour right. up there, but you don't care. And, and it's just, it's just beautiful. And then of course, you know, spent the weekend just getting remotivated, recharged, refocused on what our vision is and our business goals. And I just feel, I do, I just, I just kind of feel on top of the world, which is kind of exciting. Juicy and delicious are words that no man would ever bring to the table. But I'll let you, uh, I I, I embrace them as yours. So, so what, 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 how can I make this manly? How can I make this? More masculine, oh, uh, uh, motivated, empowering. Uh, it's awesome. Okay, it's awesome. Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> well, I hope that it's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday in your <laughs> business week that you are motivated and excited for what your company is doing, what what your life is doing. Maybe yes. you've maybe you've did some power cleansing over the weekend and did some spring cleaning, and you feel lighter and brighter and just ready to take on the world. Well, hopefully that is you, but there might be something that is keeping you from really exceeding and excelling at what you want to do and what you need to do. What could it be? Um, Last week I was listening to a podcast from Darren Hardy and he was talking about our kryptonite, which, you know, that's like the thing that makes Superman weak. Yes, it is. We all have the thing that makes us weak. Okay. It And he says it's our distractions. Right. And it's all in our little phone that we carry around that we oh. are willing to be constantly no, no, distracted no, no. all day long no. and we're doing it to ourselves. You're not gonna, You're not going to make the phone part of this conversation, I'm not, are you? I'm not. Well, here, let me ask you this. Uh-huh. Do you put your phone on the table next to you at meals? You mean like right here? Uh-huh. At yeah. meetings? Yes. Like, is it always with you? Would you be willing yes. to turn around even if you were five miles away from home to go and get it? Of course. We're 12 miles away from do, home. Do you, do you panic if it's, you I know. left my, my lunch at home today. And on the way here, I said, it is not my phone. It, it's, so yeah, it's not, not my phone. You would it. go back for the phone, but you, you won't bet. go back for your lunch. That is correct. For your lunch, you're willing to go from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yes. without food. Right. But you won't go 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. without your phone. That is correct. That is correct. Largely you in part because I can buy the food. are addicted to your phone. phone. What? And you're letting it ruin your life. This Prove is it. according to Kelly Smith at Inc.com. Um, and she says, before you can claim that you're just busy and you need it with you at all times, see how many of these symptoms you recognize in yourself. Number one, you sleep with it. Do you sleep with your phone? Is it with you within arm's reach while you are sleeping? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right, what's number two? You might be addicted to oh, your phone. Oh, this is a good time for uh, Jeff, Jeff Fox. Fox Howard, yeah, it would have been. Uh, do you check it first thing each day? Yes. Uh, according to a survey recently, uh, there are many people that the, the phone is the first thing they reach for. You know, toothbrush is the second, coffee is the third, and their spouse is the fourth. I think the order is all messed up. Yikes, right? Yeah. Uh, phone first, always. Always. Do you have it in your hand or on your person at all times? Yes. Are you constantly making sure that it's charged so it never, never powers down? Of course. Of course. Uh, do you get notifications for all of your apps? Yes. Are you constantly being notified? Uh-huh. 
Uh, do you imagine that it's beeping and buzzing even when it's not? I sometimes have, have the occasional phantom ghost. Phantom ghost. Buzz, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, how about this? Your notification badges are always at zero. That I cannot claim. Huh? Because I can't keep up with my notifications. Oh, because you have so many. I do. So it can't. It won't ever be at zero. But no. it would be if you had less because you try to always. All right. So, check so them. those are the signs. So what? So how do we you fix these things? are addicted to your phone. Admit it. Isn't that the first step? All right. I give it to you. Okay. So here's the fix. So what? You're causing all of the distractions. <laughs> You're not leading a full and fulfilling life. You're not fully present in conversations. Oh my gosh. You're allowing the distractions to keep you unfocused that, to actually growing your business, growing your relationships, growing your revenue. That pregnant pause was worth 10 bucks. Hmm. That was awesome. Okay. Here's the fix. Here's the fix. Okay. If you sleep with your phone and maybe you think you, well, I have to, I have to use it as the alarm clock. You have a very Raymer alarm clock way, you know, methodology that is so unique to you. Um, But you could actually get an actual alarm clock. I actually have one of those. You could actually use it. You could use it. You can actually use. So turn your phone off or use an app called off time, which means. Uh, you can schedule, uh, even the iPhone, iOS has a nighttime do not disturb uh, function. I know of it. I've heard of it. Yeah. I've heard of it. All right. Knowing about it and using it completely. So I check out the first first thing each day. What am I supposed to do? There's there? an app called Break Free. It measures how much, you use, use, how much you use your phone. It gently reminds you to keep your screen time under control. I dare you. Yeah, no. I dare you. No, because you. you know what I'm going to do? Huh. I'm going to use Break Free, and then I'm going to break the phone because I'm going to throw it when it tells me, you're using this a little too much, don't you? Think I think that would be uh, somebody actually just did a they they downloaded it and I read about it. They found that they are on their phone. They're checking it. Oh shoot, I can't even remember. It's like a hundred times a day, and you know, six hours a day yeah. actually looking Is at their a teenager screen. Teenager and adult. It was an adult. They right. didn't realize it. I dare you to check it out. All right, if you're uh, constantly charging the phone, uh, you you can. Uh, there's an app called Moment where it tells you when you're spending time on your phone, you can cut back as needed. That's ridiculous. Um, notifications, turn them off. Turn, just turn them off. <laughs> turn them off. And so, you know, you don't have to take a large sweeping steps, uh, but you could leave your phone at home maybe when you go out to dinner or when you could leave it in the other room when you're having a meeting. You, know you could turn funny. it off at night. I think it's funny that on this article, and I love uh, Kelly for writing it, I think it's funny that uh, the fix for your phone addiction, every one of them is, is a, an app. It's an app that's on your, your phone. phone. Yeah. yeah, that is kind of... Gang, we've got to take a quick break at the top of the hour news. We've got another hour of positive business talk just ahead. Stay with us. Angel and Eric, this is The Experience. You're listening to The Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raver. For more information, you can contact the Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or contact them on the web at experiencepros.com or on Facebook and Twitter at Experience Pros. If your customers love you, we want to know you. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. KDNT, Arvada, Denver. Denver's only business radio station, Money Talk, 1690 AM.
in one of these morning routines? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. The morning routine. Shoot. The morning routine that helped build a billion dollar brand. Are you ready? Okay, he's ready. All right, All right we're going to post. We're going to record our promo for tomorrow. So this is behind the scenes if you are listening. And remember that none of this is rehearsed whatsoever. This is uh, as raw and live as it goes. And by the way, thanks to uh, Gustavo uh, down in uh, Brazil. We appreciate you for uh, sending the top of the world Karen Carpenter song for Angel. I love that. Thank you. All, All right. right. Ready? Three, two, one. <coughs> Hi, this is Angel, and coming up on the next Experience Pros Radio Show, we're going to give you the seven-step morning routine that helped build a billion-dollar brand. Mm. Let's wake up early tomorrow and get this going. Positive Business Talk, weekday afternoons, right here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Are we recording? (laughs) Did you toot? (laughs) Business never takes a break. Neither do we. So, take Denver's Money Talk 1690 AM with you with our brand new mobile app. Stay up to the minute with breaking news, market strategies, current trends, and more wherever you are. With live streaming, listen to your favorite Money Talk shows whenever you want, on demand. It's like a personal advisor in your pocket. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. Download the brand new Money Talk app on iTunes or the Google Play Store or at moneytalk1690.com. The sun's been shining on the stock market for a long time now. Are you worried about cloudy or stormy days to come? Hi, I'm Linda Gardner, host of Your Money, Your Retirement, heard right here every weekend. If the market tumbles, how will you protect your assets? Where should your money be now? Why not schedule a complimentary stress test of your portfolio? Call 720-488-8604. That's 720-488-8604. Or online at Your Money. YourRetirement.com. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. Best selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, are inspiring you to get your business right. They know that customer experience isn't just another thing, it's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. Very nice to have you along with us. It is a, uh, a fun, fun day today. And I'll tell you something, during the commercial break between uh, the two hours, uh, many of our listeners get to actually listen in to a very candid behind the scenes uh, production of our promo for the next day. And today, uh, well, today we'll go down in history. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was that was a fun one. I, I think uh, it took me a minute to and realize red, yellow and red make what Eric was yeah. doing, <laughs> and then once I did, I, I am. Did you, did you just did, do that? Did you just do that? Uh-huh. Is that what that was? Yep. And yeah, it is. It is all unscripted. It is all super fun. All designed to give you. Just an extra boost of inspiration, encouragement in your you know, day, or, or maybe just a guffaw. Uh, uh, well, you know, yeah, but something. be careful when you tilt your head back. Uh-huh, I did that yesterday on on a rooftop deck, and I mm-hmm. lost my sunglasses. They dropped four stories down below to the rocks down below. Yes, the lens popped off, but I was able to pop it back in, and not a scratch on them, which is 
again, one of those just amazing, it's all going to be okay. Uh, we did our taxes. This is turning out all right. Like there's just, there's <laughs> so many right. little God winks going on. <laughs> yes. and, How many of you can say, we just did our taxes and it's going to be all it's right. It's all going to be okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I know we shouldn't be able it. to say that, but it's, it is exciting. And I hope, we hope that you find every day in, in little things and it's in these it's in these micro wins. That's right. It, it when take when you take notice of the small things, the little things, these micro wins. It adds up to be these big things. We think that happiness and success is this one big thing, and it's this big hairy goal that we put out there, and it's this big leap, and it's this big investment, and we can get so discouraged. No, no, no. The mountain has climbed one little step. One at a little time. step at a time, and, and that's exactly it. You know, Angel, I've, I've said it for years. I still believe it to be true. Um, it's the attention to the details. It's the small little things that make everything uh, worthwhile in our endeavors to grow our business, to to be the best that we can be. And you really can't separate those two. You have to be the best you can be in order to grow your business to the best it can be. So welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. We're grateful that you are tuning in. We hope that you share it. Those of you who are watching by way of our Facebook Live post, do us a favor and just mash that share button, if you would, and let others know that there's something fun, inspiring, and sometimes a little irreverent uh, going on. A couple of things you need to know for the business side of the show, and that is that the uh, the market's closed mixed today. That is to say that the Dow dropped about eight, nine points, a little, little less than nine points, to uh, close at 20,905. The NASDAQ up half a point to um, 5901. And then the S&P 500 dropped about five points to close at 2373. Big winner is Caterpillar today, up two and three quarters of a percent. Macy's is closed down or at least trading down currently at uh, three and uh, three, 3.8% down. Uh, Nike up one and a half percent, Chipotle down the same one and a half percent. That's the news, the market information that you probably need to know. And do you remember many, many years ago, my son Stephen came to the top of the stairs uh, while we were playing, I think it was Monopoly I or Poker no or pants. something. Yeah, that was it. He said, uh, I got no <laughs> I pants. I got no pants. It is the funniest forward, sentence that has somehow stuck with me forever. Yeah, and you and your husband have always uh, kind of tied on to that. And, and it's a funny thing for all of us because of the way it came. Dad, I got no pants. <laughs> well, um, my son works for Costco, and he recently left the state of Washington where he was a Costco employee in the state of Washington. Um, too bad that he's not still there. He works for Costco here in Colorado now. But in uh, the news over the weekend, a Washington State Costco shopper had to shed his pants in a hurry <laughs> when his cell phone abruptly caught fire in his pocket. <gasps> oh. Witnesses said they followed, they followed smoke Thursday to the hardware aisle of the Costco in Puyallup and found a man frantically removing his pants. There was so much smoke, and there were two or three people who had a fire extinguisher. They were trying to help him. I was kind of worried about the guy. I guess his pants were affected by the phone or caught on fire, Tyrell said. He was pointing to the phone. Is that your cell phone? He says, yeah. What type of cell phone? An LG. <gasps> Store manager said the phone's flames had died down by the time the employees arrived with a fire extinguisher. The manager said the man had to, be, had to remove his pants fast enough in order to avoid being injured. Manager said the phone left a scorch mark on the floor beside the aisle, and the shopper was given a new pair of pants. It was unclear what caused the phone to burst into flames, though I can assure you, this is where I jump off the, the uh, story article, if you will, and onto my opinion, I can assure you that every major airline is interested in this story. No kidding. No, no kidding. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you, I was driving, uh, dri we were driving to church on Saturday afternoon and came around the corner and there was a vehicle that was on, that had caught on fire. And it was a gorgeous vehicle while it had been. Right. And my first thought, because why do why would this car be on fire? Yes. There was no other, no other damage, no other cars. It didn't look like it had hit anything. It didn't. It was just by itself, sitting in the turn and lane. And sometimes it happens. Lit on fire. Yeah. My first thought was, I, I wonder if there was a phone in there. You know. I, I mean, I just I was. Sure. Kind of freaking out about well, that. Well, you know, you, our, our listeners will remember that uh, Samsung was uh, under um, a massive recall and finally shut down the line of the Galaxy Note 7s 
that were found to have a battery issue that caused some of the phones to explode and catch on fire. And when the first of those stories came out last year, uh, on day one, I said, you must do a full recall of this thing because it's not safe to take in the air and so on. And of course, we found out that later on, a phone did catch fire on a plane on the runway, but that uh, alerted everybody to the ongoing issue. And wow, crazy, uh, cra- crazy, crazy things. Yeah, I thought that was kind of over with, really. Mm-hmm. But but I just, I remember I had the thought. I don't know why I had the thought. Well, these, these phones are are more technologically advanced than the uh, the computers that sent man to the moon. So, you know, you think about all the stuff that has to happen, all that has to, that, that's being done, and then the battery that has to run it all. And we do, we charge these things and they're, they're, uh, they're, they're little heat seeking engines in, in these phones. And so you got to be careful with, with what's going on there. Uh, I wish that man, uh, happiness and pants. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Costco would have stepped up and said, hey, you know what? There's an aisle a couple of aisles down. Let's oh, get you some pants. Yeah. Um, I, re- I remember your son saying it. It was just the funniest thing. He's just, dad, I got no I pants. I got no pants, guy. And it That's just been- has stuck with me. One of those funny, you know, one-liners. Yep. And uh, and it has come up. It was probably it was probably ten years ago. Yes. He said this. He said this. But I, you were asking me, do you remember the day your son's? I remember. I remember. It just cracked me up. Yep. Thanks it to wasn't because he wasn't on fire. No, no, no. He wasn't. He was not. He just on needed fire. to do some laundry. He could have stopped, dropped, and rolled. Uh, I do appreciate listener uh, Susan for uh, chiming in as we were doing our promo during the the, the middle of the uh, the hour there. Wasn't it just awful? She says it doesn't get much more candid than that. I didn't um, know what he was doing, and it took me a minute, it, Susan, to catch on. It was a moment of explosion. That's all. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't know where he was going know, with it. Comes, and it was later that. That uh, it took me a minute because yeah. it often does. His sense of humor, Eric's sense of humor, my sense of humor. He's in the they room. don't always collide. Like, oh no, they, they always collide. No, they they kind of <laughs> just like pass each they other. Never like intersect. Two, yeah, yeah, never intersect. Mm-hmm. There it is. Although uh, something about a Dutch oven, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I think that's what we cook in. Uh, let's go here. There's. Um, Kangaroo Joey and Bearded Dragon have become the best friends. That's exactly right. A little baby kangaroo. Uh, in Australia, an Australian wildlife sanctuary said an orphaned kangaroo joey, that's a baby kangaroo for all those of you who are not Aussies, okay. uh, has struck up an unusual friendship with a bearded dragon. That's a creepy, horny little uh, lizard. And, and yes, you can quote me on that. The Greeno Wildlife and Bird Park pro- posted photos to Facebook showing Rosie the kangaroo joey bonding with a one-year-old bearded dragon named Elliot. One of the photos uh, shows what park staff has said is among the favorites, uh, duo's favorite activities, Rosie giving Elliot a kangaroo back ride. <laughs> it's, it's an unlikely combination for friends, but then again, so are you or I. And uh, here's another one. How would you like to be just minding your own business off the crystal clear blue ocean of uh, a Hawaiian island circled by a great white shark? For over an hour. Yes, indeed. A man was uh, fishing in his kayak, said he planned to uh, steer clear of one area after he was stalked by a great white shark for more than an hour. That would make me want to pull in my fishing line and everything else. That's so scary. Yes. That is so scary. All right, gang, we've got to take a quick break. That's what this music is all about. But when we come back, we've got more positive business talk because that's what you expect. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. Angel Tussie, Eric Raymer, helping you get your business right. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Will your current career path lead you to financial independence? Stop worrying about working till you drop, losing your job, or retiring in poverty. It's simple. Register for our free passive income workshop and learn the seven principles we use to provide for our families and run our businesses. We reveal the five reasons you should invest in real estate, and we show you how every dollar you invest in a piece of real estate makes you money five ways. It's time to get this life-changing information. Register today at MyPassiveIncomeWorkshop.com. Stop making excuses. Go to MyPassiveIncomeWorkshop.com. 
Tune in to Money Talk KDMT 1690 every Saturday at noon for the best advice on building that nest egg. You'll hear expert advice on feathering your nest, caching resources for the future, and going for the gold finches with a show that can put a little more green in your day-to-day living. While they may not be Wall Street wizards, they are the wizards of wildlife. And if you'd like to add these beautiful colors and melodious songs of wild birds to your portfolio, listen to Bird Talk Saturdays at noon on 1690 KDMT. Presented by Wild Birds Unlimited, David and Scott Menno will enrich your life with tips on attracting birds, butterflies, bats, bees, and other things that don't start with the letter B. The Bird Brothers will bring you fascinating interviews, nature news, insights on building the best wild bird habitat, and we hope to bring you a smile and a chuckle or two as well. So listen to Bird Talk every Saturday at noon right here on Money Talk 1690 KDMT. Hi, I'm Carrie Gasmus, Area Manager with Fairway Independent Mortgage. Have you noticed the mortgage ads lately? Companies that used to advertise low, low rates and savings of hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on your refinance have suddenly become purchase experts. At Fairway, we've always been purchase experts. We offer our qualified, pre-approved buyers a 20-day purchase guarantee from contract to close. In Colorado's competitive real estate market, a quick closing can be the difference between owning a home you love or dragging your search out for months. Apply from your computer or mobile device online through our easy application process. Unlike other companies, we won't leave you floating alone in a gravity-free room. Our local team of loan officers walks with you every step of the way to qualify and close on your dream home. Learn more about our 20-day closing guarantee and your home loan options by calling 303-214-9071 or visit us online at fairwaymortgagecolorado.com. Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, NMLS number 2289, is an equal housing lender. This is not an offer to enter into an agreement. Not all customers will qualify. Information rates and programs are subject to change without notice. All products are subject to credit and property approval. A pre-qualification is not an approval of credit and does not signify that underwriting requirements have been met. Branch NMLS number 1122559. Regulated by the Colorado Division of Real Estate. Hey there, Dan Shakini, owner of Dunright Kitchens and Baths, Windows and Doors. There's absolutely no reason why right now can't be your time to get started on that beautiful new kitchen or that awesome bath you've always wanted. See what our family can do for your family. 800-362-8370. Question, would you seat your three-year-old child on a windowsill? And would you seat them in a car seat that's not the correct one? Secure their future. Seat them in the correct car seat. More info at safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Are you tired of exposing your retirement to stock market risk? How would you like to participate in stock market gains but never stock market losses? Join Brett Roby for the Retirement and Income Radio Show on Saturdays at 7 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. You can also call Brett Roby now for your free customized safe information money kit and 115-page safe money book. Call 8 866-780-7233. 866-780-SAFE. Hi, this is Clyde with Windows America. Help us celebrate our 15th year helping Denver homeowners improve their homes. A-plus rating with the BBB, award-winning contractor with Angie's List. There has never been a better time to buy windows. The technology of glass and windows has come so far. Right now, we're giving away a free dinner for two with every qualifying estimate. Call us at 1-877-WINDOWS for your free estimate. Or go to our website, Windows A. AM.com. one eight seven seven windows or go to our website, windowsam.com. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you Live on the show. <laughs> Do we have to go back to work? <laughs> we are having so much fun in the studio, and I hope you are too. And this next this next guest couldn't have been uh, scheduled for the most perfect timing than today. Absolutely. I'm feeling just on top of the world today. And she says that nothing positive comes from negativity. She says that the world seems to be filled with negativity, complaints, poor losers, downright bad attitudes on every corner. And we see that, right? Yeah, we do. And she says that that, de- that negativity casts a dark cloud on the world we live in. So re- is it is it re- Rainy? Rainy. Rainy, sorry. Rainy Cavallari. She says it's time to take an aim at the negativity by helping people arouse their passion and and shine when we shine we awaken our true potential and in doing so we naturally shine the light so others feel inspired to do the same uh rini is the ceo of aspire people performance profits and author of the book 
Aspire to Shine. You can find that at AspireMarketing.com. Rainey, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. It is fantastic having you on the program, Rainey. Let's ask this. What do you describe as global warning and... Global whining. Uh, whining uh, global warning. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sure you've never heard that before. Global whining. And why Why can't we just do a moonstruck moment and say, snap out of it? Well, you know, it'd be nice if it was just that easy, but it's just not that easy. You know, there's so much negativity and it really it minimizes who we are. You know, there's those cave people everywhere, constantly against virtually everything, and they're sucking our energy, and we have to stop that. Did you, did you, I got to know, yeah, did just, you just make that up, that cave? Is that your acronym? Uh, actually, no, that acronym's been around for years. I call them the energy, you know, the suckers. They're the people who suck energy from you, and they limit your potential. They limit everything, because they only see things in a limited perspective. And we allow their limited perspective then to, to cloud over ours. Why do we do that? We're smarter than that. You're so right. And we can't live to what we truly want in our lives when, you know, we are filled with all this negativity. Nothing positive comes from negativity. You can ignite change through negativity, but you cannot sustain and actually create change through negativity. People have to align and be inspired to take the risk that's required to change. Mm, you know, like and, and Rainy, this makes perfect sense. And of course, we know that nothing positive can come from negativity. We know that when we are shining our light, when we're in that positive space, that nothing can stop us. We feel like we're on top of the world. But it's almost, it's so fleeting. You know, one person, especially somebody kind of well-meaning in our world, can really knock us down a peg. Uh, and, and we allow that... How do we, how do we protect ourselves from the negativity in our lives? Well, I think first we have to really decide on our own mindset, and our mindset will shift when we become fanatically engaged in our lives. So whether it's in our work, and we find, you know, what is our purpose in our work? How are we contributing? And then how can we contribute more? Because that activity engages us, and that fuels us. The second thing we really have to look at is our own self-leadership. Are we out there leading a life proud of, that we feel connected to and that we want? Or are we blaming and shaming everybody else for the things we don't have? We need leaders within ourselves to drive towards what we want and to be willing to change things where they're not aligned. I, I love this, Rainy, and I'll tell you something. Uh, before we even get any further, i got to have you uh, find a way to get back to us because uh, you, you are our kind of people. You know, our, our tagline that we started years ago with Experience Pros is we're creating a revolution in how people treat people in business, and we get this, and, and it's, it's what we preach every single day. And, of course, two are stronger than one, that's for sure. Um, you know, we, we believe that you have to motivate yourself first. The, the, the leadership trickles down from uh, from the top. And that being said, how do we turn on that motivational switch for those people that are uh, are under our leadership? Well, it starts with understanding our motivational switch. And in my book, Aspire to Shine, we actually studied that thousands of people who participated in a survey that identifies well, what motivates you. Because I can't motivate you. You can only turn on your own motivational switch. As a leader, I can inspire you. As a leader, I can shine the light on what's possible out there and help you connect to what is possible and how you can contribute to it. But ultimately, you have to turn on your own motivational switch. And what we found is that 52% of all people that took this survey identified that helping others, contributing, was what really motivated them. And so if that might not be your motivational switch. You need to find out what it is and then move from there. You know, and very, very often, Rainey, I think we think that it's tied to finances. You know, when I make enough money, my business will grow and I can buy and I can do. But there gets to a point, and I was having this conversation this weekend, that the money is no longer the motivator. You kind of get to a place where you kind of got, you know, things covered. 
And so it has to be that bigger inspiration, that bigger why and that bigger purpose that will keep you going because we have we have a responsibility to be that light for those around us, don't you think? You are so correct. Actually, those people that at, that stated that money was a motivator for them, we actually went back and interviewed them. And what we came to find out across the board was that it wasn't money that was motivating them. It was what could be done with that money. So it might have been, I want to help my child go through college. Or we had some people, it's like, I, I like horses and they're expensive. And so when you can connect as a leader, what is motivating you to, about the money to the work? So here is how you can earn extra income as a salesperson for the company, let's just say, so that you can have more money to take care of your horse or to take care of your family or be more philanthropic or whatever that money allows you to have. So we really need to understand that no money is not the motivator. Money is a vehicle in our life. We need to, as you said, connect to our purpose and connect to what we value. And when we get excited about that and really tap into that, we open up not just, you know, our motivation, we open up our potential. Yeah. And that fuels us even further. That gets us even more passionate about what we're doing. You know, well, well said. Rennie, uh, already share in our office is uh, getting ready to connect with you and have you back on the program. You're fantastic. And I'm sorry, we don't have more time. The book you need is Aspire. Oh, Aspire to Shine. You can is. find it at AspireMarketing.com or follow Rainy at AspireMarketing.com. Uh, she actually collaborates with employers and employees to inspire successful change and unleash uncharted possibilities for their businesses. Rennie, look for a phone call from me directly. I'd like to uh, connect and collaborate with you as well. We'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages. You're listening to Angel and Eric, and this is the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 and Money Talk. 1690.com. I can't say that. But we can. Sometimes you just can't write the words you want to say or find the right words to express your feelings. But we can. We are the right words. The people who help turn your thoughts into words so you can speak your mind. Too shy to ask that special person out? Try us. We're good at that. Love, hate, revenge, laughter. We're the right words, bringing you the words that make saying the hardest things easier. Learn more at the right words 250com W-R-I-T-E, the right words 250com During these cold winter months, now is the time parents are wondering how they will help their kids occupy their time without the influence of TV, video games, and the internet this summer. This year, consider Chile Colorado Camps for your child or teen. For a limited time, we have one half-price campership available on experienceprosdeals.com. This certificate is good for one camper age 12 to 17 for a camping experience of a lifetime. 
Located close to home in Estes Park, Chile, Colorado Camps believes that every summer in a young person's life is a window of opportunity, an opportunity to provide meaningful experiences that will nourish their body and spirit, an opportunity to put aside the competitive demands of school and sports. At Chile, Colorado Camps, your child or teen go hiking, horseback riding, backpacking, whitewater rafting, and so much more. Don't miss this amazing deal and visit experienceprosdeals.com today. For centuries, it's been called a land of promise. Today, it's a land of blessing. Come and experience for yourself the only place God called my land. Experience Israel and celebrate Jerusalem's 50th anniversary. A once in a lifetime trip awaits. Tour Israel like never before during nine exciting days. You'll visit Galilee, the Jordan Valley, the Garden Tomb, and many other historic sites. Embolden your faith as you trace back the very steps of Jesus and experience firsthand the beauty of Mediterranean landscapes, culinary delights, and return home with a renewed vision for your life. A dedicated team of passionate and knowledgeable professionals will lead the tour. Four- and five-star travel accommodations will give you comfort and safety for the duration of the trip. For full cost and trip details, visit experienceisraeltour.com. That's experienceisraeltour.com. Alcohol began to be a problem a few years ago, and the problem just got worse. Hi, my name is Bill. Alcohol had crept into my life over the years, taking over until I didn't have a life anymore. I needed a solution before I lost everything. I tried various treatments and counseling. They did not solve the real problem. I was addicted. I was exhausted trying to fight it. Go Sober was able to solve the problem within a week, and it's great to have my life back. If you want to find out more, go to GoSober.org. 85% of people who go through the Go Sober program never drink again. The 85% success rate is because it uses science to solve your addiction problem. Go Sober provides FDA-approved medical treatments using specific drugs administered by a doctor in the physician's office. You will lose your desire to drink almost immediately, and you'll be back to work and back to your life the next day. Call Go Sober at 303-827-4837. That's 303-827-4837. Or go to GoSober.org. <laughs> The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragon Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragon story of great customer service by using the hashtag Fan Brag or calling the Fan Bragon Hotline at 855 Fan Brag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tussie, Eric Raymer, helping you get through your day. Whether it is morning or night, it is always positive business talk. It is, and we're so excited that you are here. Our next guest says that a breakdown exists between the preparation that students receive in schools and the skills that they need to enter and exceed in the job market. But how can we prepare them for the jobs of tomorrow when we don't really even know what they are yet, right? Mm. Uh, In her new book, Patty Alper writes, Teach to Work, How a Mentor, a Mentee, and a Project Can Close the Skills Gap in America. She empowers professionals whether they're bankers, lawyers, architects, IT specialists, or artists, to bring their real-world experience into the classroom. The book reveals how adults with expertise and wisdom can become ambassadors of talent, grit, and skill for the future generation entering the workforce. Patty, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Well, hello. Thank you guys for having me. Patty, very nice to uh, to have you. And I think between... Uh, uh, mentors and mentees and projects, I'm for them. Uh, I, I like all those things. How do we uh, jump into this? Hey, which comes first, the mentor or the mentee? Well, you know, I, I think we should go back just for a minute and understand what is the skill gap. I mean, why do we even need that today? Sure. And, and I guess what I would say to you is there's three uh, narratives that are going on at the same time. The first one is you hear that there's no jobs from automation, jobs are moving overseas, globalization has made everything more competitive. Then you have that there's not enough skills. Uh, The the GE barometer 
uh, it's an index, it interviews corporations, and their biggest problem they account for is a misalignment between business and education. Um, Gallup has done the same kind of studies. 89% of corporate C-suite executives say that the skills that they see in their applicants are not what they're looking for. So we have a problem. And then you have uh, the poor schools. Everybody points a finger at the poor schools. And you all were in school. I mean, when you hire a student out of school, what have they learned? So what I'm proposing, which I have to say I am an entrepreneur myself, um, and I have mentored kids in my area, which is entrepreneurship and business, this is like going back to the master hunter apprentice days. Like we need to teach kids how to do things. And that's where the project comes in. Okay. Um, you know, you're teaching kind of this blend of both character through role modeling and soft skills and behavior. And you're teaching competence. You're teaching a whole host of skills of getting something done, a master plan to a, a critical need that you have to present and defend that has a real world impact. So you're getting some real experience and you're getting coached all the way through depending on the subject matter and what the mentor's specialty is. So this, I happen to be an entrepreneur. It relates to me for business. But there's no reason, like you just read that um, little excerpt there, there's no reason a scientist, an accountant, uh, engineer can't also be coaching kids. Right. So that's, that's where we start. I, okay, so Patty, can I ask you, is there always this perceived skills gap anytime a new generation comes into the workforce or has the technology and how fast things are changing. I remember when my kids were getting ready to go into high school, they talked about that this generation will likely have multiple careers over their lifetime versus the generation beforehand. And that most likely the jobs that they're going to have careers in, they're going to, they're going to be shorter lived, but they don't even exist yet. But wasn't, do we always treat each generation as if there's this skills gap in there? Is this new? I probably would say uh, it, it has some tradition, but I think it's uh, expedited now. You know, I just attended an economics forum. Uh, this, this is kind of fascinating that the trucking industry within 10 years is going to be fully automated and you won't need drivers anymore. You know, Patty, we heard that about the radio industry as well. And so far <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing okay uh, hold, holding our own. But I see where it's going. Uh, that being the case, you know, you, you can't plan for what you don't know, or can you? Well, the fact is, uh, this is sort of my theory. If you want to get an A from a teacher, don't you want to go learn what it is they're, they're looking for? If you're preparing, if you're doing a paper, if you're getting taking a test, sure. what are they looking for? So, to me, the place to start is to look at the jobs that are out there. Um, to me, educators could be listening and learning a lot more from the corporations who are doing the hiring, that there needs to be a better alignment in these very disparate sectors. So, what I've done, actually, at my opening chapter in the book, I've interviewed in depth case studies of five major corporations, um, you know, Pfizer and MasterCard and Comcast, Ernst and Young. They have robust mentoring programs. So they are not waiting for the educators to meet their needs. They are being proactive and they are going out and they are creating their own pipelines. Sure. And that is becoming the wave of the future. And what's kind of fascinating about it is they uh, report hosts of benefits for doing that, unimaginable benefits. You cannot even think of all of the reasons because it's a very big expense to them, and they have to give up employees' time. 
but they have gains. And if you would like, I can share a few of those. Yeah, yeah. Give, Law- us, give us an example of, of one of, of these uh, companies that's uh, offering s- significant benefits. Oh, my God. Just one. Well, yeah, we, we, yeah, we've got three minutes. <laughs> okay. Well, one is they build a pipeline. They, they interest all kinds of kids in their company, and they start training toward the skills that they're looking for. Um, so I go on. I mean, they create loyalty. Okay. M- millennials don't want to work at a company that doesn't do good. That's right. kind of the wave of the future. Right. Yeah, they do. They want to be part of something bigger than themselves. All right. Well, then, Patty, let's make sure we give our listeners a chance to follow you and get a copy of your of your book, Teach to Work. What's the best way for them to get the book and to stay connected with you? Well, we have a website, www.teachtowork.com. Uh, the book goes on the market March 28th. Uh, it's already up for pre-sale on Amazon. It's at Barnes & Noble. And uh, we have a blog that we send out. Uh, we'll be putting this onto our website as well. Very so nice. we would, anybody interested in developing a mentor or mentor training program, uh, step up and give it a whirl because it's, it's awesome for everybody. Uh, we, we agree. Yeah, absolutely. We definitely do. Patty, thank you. No, thank you so much for being our guest today. Thank you for having me. Great yeah, to gotcha. meet you guys. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it is it is a different world, and we've got to prepare right. not only that generation, but even this generation for how to accept and prepare the next generation. Absolutely. And we always have to be collaborating and moving forward and never sit back on our laurels. I think it's so easy for us to just get really comfortable and think, well, the way we've always done it is the way it will right. be. But we know that's not the case. And so we always have to be innovating. We always have to be learning because that whole phrase of you don't know what you don't know. Well, it sounds cliche and it sounds really cheesy. Of course, I don't know what I don't know. It's the one thing you're going to trip over and fall and get you every time. There's, There's only, gravity. It's a rule. Right? We can only go so far with what we know, which is why we are so thrilled to bring you the guests that we bring, the new that's books right. that are coming out. You know, the go-getters and the, the movers and shakers in the business community. And we're giving it to you 10 minutes at a time so you can get a PhD in small business. Not to grow just your business, but to grow your life, to grow your legacy, to build those relationships that are super important to you. And we hope that you share this, that yeah. you help in and uh, tap into the movement that is kindness, beginning kindness. It's so simple lifting others up, collaborating, encouraging. And when we give, then the, the the returns are abundant. Absolutely. We invite you to join our community by going to experiencepros.com and sign up for your free 30-day trial membership. We take off all the, the barriers and make sure that you understand we're willing to put our money in front of yours. Join us and see if you can't tell the difference in your business. That's experiencepros.com. We'll be back right after these messages. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Consult your tax professional before investing. Let me ask you a question. Can you keep your 401k or IRA safe from the death of the dollar, continued rampant Fed spending, political corruption, and from the possible new Cold War with Russia? If you answered no, then listen up. Fortunes are going to be made and lost over the next few months. It's time you took action. Over 50,000 people have requested our Gold IRA Investment Guide to learn how to protect their retirement savings. Now it's your turn. We are Advantage Gold the number one rated gold IRA company in America by TrustLink. Right now, we are giving away a free copy of our new gold IRA protection guide to anyone with an IRA, 401k, or retirement account that is over the age of 55. Just call 1-800-900-8000 right now, and we will help teach you how to keep your retirement savings away from the government and safe in your pocket. Just call today at 800-900-8000. That's 800-900-8000. Representatives are standing by. Call 800-900-8000 today. 
Michael Bailey Law Office. Hard-working law. Real-world experience. Listen Sundays from 1030 to 11 a.m. when Michael Bailey discusses how to preserve and pass on your personal legacy. Simple or complex planning. Michael Bailey can help you with answers about your estate planning. Michael Bailey Law. Sundays from 1030 to 11 a.m. on Denver's Money Talk. KDMT 1690 a.m. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 and Money Talk, 1690. Imagine what you do with an extra thousand or two in your account every single month. Attend a free class to learn what the Wall Street boys hope you'll never find out. If you call now, the Online Trading Academy will comp the class and even send you home with a free $247 home study course. And then you could start making your dreams a reality. Call 866-816-1918. 866-816-1918. Call 866-816-1918. That's 866-816-1918. This is Catherine Cooper. My husband, retired Master Gunnery Sergeant Jeffrey Cooper, and I survived a near-death head-on motorcycle crash. We called attorney Jeremy Kay for help. He worked day and night to get us what we were entitled to. Unlike a lot of attorneys today, Jeremy Cave even makes house calls. He's been there for us every step of the way. He helped us understand our rights and answered all of our questions. Cave Law understands that many of you folks who listen to the station prefer to have a lawyer who sees things from your point of view. Well, I certainly do. I think it's time to put the personal back into handling personal injury. Jeremy Cave only gets paid when you do. Call Cave Law now for a free at-home consultation. 720-213-3737. If you're injured in an accident, call 720-213-3737. Or check out the brand new website, cavelawyer.com. That's cavelawyer.com. Personal and caring service from Cave Law. Call Jeremy today. 720-213-3737. This is a life-changing message for anyone with sleep apnea who is on the go and tired of dragging around a big, bulky home CPAP device. Now there's finally a portable device that's as small as a soda can and weighs less than a pound. You can even add a battery that's as tiny as a deck of cards. It's the Transcend Mini CPAP. And right now, you can try Transcend absolutely risk-free for 10 days. So call now, 1-800-400-2199. Transcend is the world's first portable mini CPAP device. It gives you the freedom to sleep in total comfort anywhere you are. Our smallest and most advanced portable design ever. Transcend is so small and so light, you can fit it in your briefcase or purse to use anywhere you go. It's FAA compliant too, so you can even sleep comfortably while flying. Enjoy the freedom to sleep comfortably anywhere. To receive your 10-day in-home trial, call minicpap.com now. 1-800-400-2199. Again, that's 1-800-400-2199. Are you concerned about outliving your money? How would you like to have guaranteed growth and a lifetime of income you could never outlive? Join Brett Roby for the Retirement and Income Radio Show on Saturdays at 7 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. You can also call Brett Roby now for your free customized safe information money kit and 115-page safe money book at 866-780-7233, 866-780-SAFE. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pro, America's home for positive business talk. Turn it up, folks. We got you too. That guy's me too. Zoo TV. <laughs> one of the best songs that ever happened right here. You know what else is one of the best things that, that has ever happened? Disney World. Disney. Oh, absolutely. Disney World. Love Disney himself. Right? My kids are, I have two daughters that are working at, in Orlando at Disney World. They're actually being interns uh, for six months. And found a fun article that talked about 
about the ride, the Jungle Cruise. Do you remember the Jungle Cruise? I do remember the Jungle Cruise. Do you know that it first opened? It was it was one of the original rides when the park first opened, Disneyland, when the Disneyland right. Park first opened in 1955. It's one of the original rides, attractions yeah. that still today, it, I mean, it's gone it, through some tweaks. It was a teenager tweaks. by the time I got there, but uh, yeah. It's I, gone, yeah, it's gone through some different tweaks. Mm-hmm. Um, but I found a fun article that talked about exceptional customer service. Okay. Last Friday, we did a little twist on our fan, Bragging Friday, which uh, was super fun. But we were talking about, we were asking the question, can the customer experience touch your soul. Right. Yeah. Can you create a an interaction or have an interaction that is so profound, so memorable that you remember it for the rest of your and, life and positively? Well, they're talking about there's an article and it comes from the Disney Institute, but talks about the Jungle Cruise ride. What makes it so popular? What you know keeps guests coming back year after year? You know, and to ride this ride that has been around. For, what is that, 60? 75 years. A, a lot of years. Yeah. It's not 75. It's not? No, because. Okay. Yeah, it's not 75. It's, it's in its 60s. Time. It's in its 60s. So uh, they say that in some organizations, a natural tendency to believe that service delivery emanates from the people alone. It's just the people. You hire nice people, they do nice things. But in fact, according to the Disney Institute, they say exceptional service derived from the intersection of process place, and people. We think it's all about the people, but it's really the intersection of process, place, and people. So here's what they mean by process. Okay. It's the series of related activities or tasks that enable the delivery of a seamless and issue-free customer experience. Uh, it, w- seamless and issue-free. Seamless now you're and talking issue-free. our language. Yes. So I just placed a, an order for uh, a pair of shoes today, this yep. afternoon. Within an hour, I got an email saying my delivery has been shipped. Wow. That seamless and issue free. I was, wow. wow. And shipping was included. And it's two to four days before I'll get my, to get my delivery. But within the hour, what kind of process do you have to have in place that within the hour you can say, say your product is on its way? I don't even think Amazon does that. So they say on the Jungle Cruise, it's the queuing system and a safe boarding procedure are just two examples of processes put in place to better serve our guests. So do you have the process for a seamless and issue-free customer experience? Um, Right now, we're doing a lot here at Experience Pros on the back end to create this more automated, seamless, issue-free customer experience as we go into the next phase of growing Experience Pros. We are flippity, flippity, jibbery excited over all of this. Well... it is super fun, but you've got to have processes in place if you're going to scale and grow. Let's talk about the place part of that uh, trifecta process, place, and people. The place is wherever your customer meets you, whether uh, it's a physical location or it's an online location, whether it's where they're at and they, they and, need and you. And so we're or- talking about social media. Oh, yeah. We're talking about your website. That's right. We're talking about your phone. Mm -hmm. We're everywhere. Where do people meet you? Where do people think of you? Where where do you interact? Uh, Nobody's dialed it in better than Disney. Disney's I got mean, it pretty right? good. Go All the, of it. Go to the mall, to the Disney store, and you're you're like at the at the Magic Kingdom. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. And it's the same. Now, of course, there's the special magic that is created by the right people. Yes. And I will tell you, my girls took three years of applying to Disney before they were accepted. Right. They don't take just anybody. But imagine taking a trip on the Jungle Cruise without the skipper. Right? How much fun would that be? And the clever jokes uh, that, they, <laughs> that they, they share. Right. It's all puns and stuff. It makes it a, a unique and unforgettable experience. But it's process, place, and people where that comes together from start to finish where their guests, because they're Disney guests, or your clients are insured an exceptional service experience each and every time they choose the Jungle Cruise. And it's the same it's a experience same. every single time. It's like McDonald's, right? What grew them to fame? Right. It was the same experience every single time, whether you were in L.A. or New York City or anywhere in the world. It's the same experience. So think about your own business, yeah. right? Do people come again just for the great people? 
I'll, I'll tell you, Angela, you know, I, I had a similar experience this week. Uh, you know, my friend Rob has uh, been a member of uh, American Express. He's, he's been a cardholder with American Express for years and years. And, and to put it in perspective, I mean, the man spends $100,000 or more every month on his card, right, and gets, gets back the reimbursements and all of that. So you can imagine uh, why he's so loyal and fan- fanatical about them. And he suggested to me, right, go get yourself an American Express card. So finally, finally, I did. And they did the same thing within uh, a couple of, well, within minutes of me signing up, they, within 30 seconds, they approved me and then uh, came back and said, we're sending you the card. It'll be shipped out in the next 24 hours. We sent your card the next 24 hours and it's on its way. And so far, so good. I've really enjoyed the experience. And we try to do the same thing here at Experience Pros, right, to, to make sure that our members get that kind of treatment. Every time. And it is it, it is a symbiotic relationship. You might have really great people, but if your process is kind of stink yep. or your places are inadequate and not quite meeting the Hard needs, to navigate. Right? a confused buyer always says no. Mm-hmm. And, and we think that it is the people, but you've got to have those processes in place and you've got to make sure that every place that they see and interact with your brand is that consistent, memorable experience. That's what you get at Disney. That's what you get at so many of these top-of-the-line companies, and that's what you get with Experience Pros. So we are so grateful for our members. We got to do a fun video right before we went live here on the radio show uh, promoting and um, inspiring some of our members. We hope you meet them. We hope you interact with them. We They're some of the best them. people in yeah in the business world, and we do. We hope you become them. No matter where you are in the country, you can sign up for free at experiencepros.com. Absolutely. And with that, we must bid you adieu while we jump across the uh, aisle and start another radio show on our sister station, 94.7 FM, The Word. Um, thank you for tuning in. Angel and I love having you as a part of the program. And uh, don't forget big man Chad back there. We appreciate him as well. We'll be back tomorrow. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. This is the Experience Pros radio show with business revolutionaries, Angel Tussie and Eric.